Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, April 26th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had the bears kick off the day and they pushed down to test some 2022 lows in some of the indexes, but the bulls ended up winning the day, bouncing pretty hard, creating a little bit of a short squeeze. Unfortunately, we have the question as to whether they'll be able to follow through today. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, the good news here on the Dow is that we did um, uh, ultimately hold that price support. Buyers coming in to push um, the market back up. Unfortunately, it wasn't a strong enough move to break through resistance levels that we have in the chart. And we still have that question as we approach these resistance levels this morning. As you can see, pre-market, we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in here uh, this morning. And I think it's more just the uncertainty about all the economic data and earnings data coming our way um, throughout the day. So we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. But one of the things that you want to pay attention to and, and really be respectful of when we're in a downtrending market like this, you always want to be very respectful of the resistance in the chart. So kind of keep in mind as we push up or if we push up and continue to push up, watch these resistance levels. That's exactly where we could see the bears come into play where they can line up and be ready to defend. Um, the market so we'll want to watch that closely now if the bears were to push back let's say we stumble on some of these earnings reports and we start pushing back this is going to be a significant level right in here for the Dow to hold because if we lose that level in here we could easily sink down to these lows here in the chart. So we're gonna to have to watch that close. We have a little bit of a precarious position here and it really is a lot being hinged on some of these earnings reports and economic data. There's huge anticipation out there. Um, let's keep in mind that we are still below our 50 day moving average. So as wonderful as that rally was yesterday, didn't really resolve any of the technicals here in the Dow. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Very similar situation here in the SPY. Oh uh, shoot, I've got a delay. There we go. I had a little delay there in the chart. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. As you can see, we've got um, some resistance still above. This was a nice little bounce as we tested the support down here. Nice little bounce, but it didn't resolve breaking through those resistance levels. And if we can get through that one, boy, we have a tough one right here that we're going to have to work on and even a stronger one right here that we're going to have to work on. So we've got a lot of upside uncertainty here in the market. Watch those levels. This is where the bears could um, show up to defend. Now, if we can push on through these levels, that would be awesome. That would be, it'd be nice to catch a little bit more of follow through, a little bit more of a relief rally in the market. But we can't rule out that possibility that those bears will return if we happen to stumble on some earnings. So watch these levels down here if those bears um, return. A breakdown through this low would be pretty catastrophic for the market at the moment. And let's keep in mind our technicals are still quite bearish. Notice our 50 day moving average is um, above our um, current price and that 50 day moving average is declining. So you'll want to keep that my, in mind with a pretty good or pretty strong level of technical price resistance in the chart right in here as well. If we take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ um, probably the um, most unfortunate in, in the market right now. Um, these downtrends here, pretty substantial, and these resistance levels above are also very substantial in that chart. And we've got a lot of data coming our way trying to determine whether or not we have enough good news in those earnings to push us on through. So kind of keep in mind, 
as we push up, we're going to have to deal with these resistance levels. And we want to make sure um, to also recognize the fact if we can't push up through those, a break of this support would be pretty ugly in the market. So be prepared just in case. Now we did end up holding on to the 500 day moving average here in the QQQ and that can be a good sign, but we also want to make very close, pay very close attention to the fact that we have a substantial technical resistance above along with that um, resistance in price action with our 50 day moving average starting to decline once again. So not exactly a bullish technical picture in the chart. Hopefulness, yes but not a bullish technical picture. Then if we take a look at IWM, IWM pushing back down here, testing the lows of uh, 2022, um, continuing in that downtrend. And although the bounce was nice, it didn't deal with price resistance in that chart yet. And we'll just have to watch that pretty closely here. T21, uh, or excuse me, um, um, IWM still has a lot of proving to do. It is hopeful that we will hold that support, but once again, if those bears were to come back in, it wouldn't be a big, um, a big push even to break us down below that low. So we'll want to watch that closely and keep a close eye on these resistance levels above for those entrenched bears, just in case we have uh, enough bullishness to follow through for another day. Let's take a look at our VIX now. Our VIX surged up pretty strongly yesterday but in that um, relief rally that was created um, the pullback unfortunately didn't really resolve a whole lot as you can see we still hold above that 25 26 handle there in our um, vix at the close a follow through today could certainly push us back down through that but right now we actually have a little bit of bearishness coming into the pre-market with just that uncertainty about what those reports are going to show us so we'll want to watch that closely um, kind of keep in mind we have a bit of a flat upside trend going on in this chart and there's that channel so we may have popped out of that channel just a little bit which may require us to pull back just a little bit we got a little carried away um, on the selling there um, and may need a little bit more of a relief rally to um, resolve some of that and if we take a look at our t2122 yesterday we did finally reach down here in fact we got pretty darn close to the bottom reach down in there to that bullish and um, reversal zone so that does give us some hope that if the data supports um, these prices that we have opened a pretty substantial upside um, in um, T2122. If we can get something going here, if those numbers are good um, and get something going, um, we've opened up a pretty substantial upside. But also keep in mind, we bounced so much yesterday. If the data is bad, we could easily have a retest down in here. So a uh, tough market here and likely a dangerous market with some really um, wild price volatility and we should expect big gap ups or big gap downs at the open um, with all of these um, tech giants reporting after the bell this week. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 unfortunately didn't improve that much yesterday even as we rallied. So what I think we're seeing here is a lot of the rally was nothing more than a short squeeze um, where there was a lot of short covering not actual buying going on and you can kind of see that in t2108 um, only 37 percent of the stocks um, holding above their 40-day moving average and unfortunately we broke these lows in the chart but there is still some hope as you can see although we're following this downtrend and continue to fail along that downtrend notice we held this price support area in the chart so if we can get some relief going then we might start seeing that perk back up lots gonna depend on how this data rolls out um, over this week so watch that close and our t2107 very similar in the fact that well, it just didn't improve all that much yesterday, which really leads me to think there was an awful lot of short covering rather than actual buying going on in the market. So watch that carefully here. Um, still in a downtrend, we're holding this price support in that chart. 
We need to see a little bit more price action in there, though, though to gain some uh, confidence in the market. And unfortunately, our T2122 still, um, even though we did see a little bit of improvement in, um, whoops, um, uh, a little bit of improvement in volume, our T2101 still pretty darn anemic and not showing us much for momentum here in the market. Not sure what that means, but what I do think it tells us is that there's a lot of danger here that we could pop or drop really fast in the market. So just be prepared and make sure that you have a plan to protect yourself if those events do um, inspire those bulls or bears. And then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar is a busy one this morning with some market moving data coming our way as you can see we've got durable goods orders here coming in um, first thing this morning so that's a that's one of those market movers and it will be an interesting report considering where we are um, with inflation and whether or not those consumers have been significantly damaged so watch that closely this could move us around quite a bit we got case shiller those home prices here today consumer confidence that's also going to be an interesting one for today to see how those consumers are feeling and then new home sales which could be an interesting number as well as we've seen mortgage applications drop dramatically in the market so watch that close keep in mind after the bell today we're going to have big tech earnings reports and we have international trading goods tomorrow morning um, so we might want to plan for the possibility there could be a substantial gap in the market tomorrow morning so watch carefully let's take a look um, or plan carefully is what I should say let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is a busy one today and we have a lot of potential market moving reports out there now We've already heard from PepsiCo and PepsiCo reported well, but unfortunately we're not getting the follow through here on that price action. A little bit of bullishness, we popped, but we're pulling back here. So watch that carefully as PepsiCo deals with this resistance in the chart. And then on um, other earnings reports, uh, please keep in mind guys, I will not be able to cover all of the earnings reports um, um, from here on through the rest of earnings likely just because there's so many but i will highlight some of those big mover movers that we'll be watching this afternoon um google will be reporting this afternoon we'll want to watch that obviously google um, broken support big ugly move to the downside nice bounce back yesterday but unfortunately we still have lots of resistance above and as you can see still well below its 50-day moving average so this is going to be an interesting report today will it save us or will it sink us and that's the question that everyone's trying to deal with we also have microsoft reporting today now microsoft did do a better job yesterday and look noticing that we held the lows here of 2022 bouncing back up but we still have resistance in this chart that we need to deal with and as we head into those earnings reports it will be also very interesting here um, still underneath that 50-day moving average so the question has to be asked will it will the earnings save this or will it sink through that support heading on down toward this 500-day moving average um, hard to tell um, and I think there's a lot of uncertainty um, here this out today so watch that closely we're also going to hear from um, um, ADM today now ADM has been in a tremendous upside trend but recently had some selling breaking that trend here just a little bit you can see a little bit of bullishness coming in here on that report this morning keep an eye on ADM that might be a pretty interesting chart as commodity prices continue to hold up quite well we're going to hear from 3m today keep an eye on that we're going to hear from um, 
Chipotle. Chipotle will re be reporting today, so watch that one closely. GLW might be an interesting report. Take a look at GLW here. Really strong move on this report. That could give us a little bit of insight into the Apple report because we, um, we know Corning produces most of the glass, or all of the glass, I should say, for um, Apple. So we'll want to uh, pay close attention to that. That might be a, a little bit of fingers crossed hopefulness of the Apple report. We're also going to hear from GE. We've got JetBlue. We've got Juniper in there. We've got um, um, just a slew of reports. So guys, keep an eye on you know Visa, VLO, UPS today. Um, a lot of market movers um, popping off their earnings today. So make sure you stay on your toes and watch carefully for those. And if you want the full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. Go back to the morning blog and you can get catch that full list of notables. So with that, guys, um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, really quickly, if you could do me that favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And hopefully you see that these videos are much different than the standard fare out there on social media where I don't provide any prediction. I'm not trying to be predictive. I want to look at the price action of the chart and really really try to decide um, how I want to approach the market for today with a good use of technical analysis in these charts. So if you find that to be helpful, also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment because that helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you like it, please feel free to share it out there on your social media feed. That also helps. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly awesome and I just never expected Expected, there'd be this many folks um, um, not sucked into the prediction um, um, and hype that we see in so many places in the market. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence in these charts and be very, very careful, uh, particularly this, this week because the price action is gonna be very challenging. In fact, I would say if you're an inexperienced trader, I would be very, very careful, maybe sitting on the sidelines, waiting until you have a little bit better edge in the market because we could see some big price moves um, either up or down as this drama unfolds. Let's take a look at a couple here though that do look pretty good. I've been keeping a pretty close eye here on um, Clorox and notice that Clorox broke through an alert that I had here on the chart. This pink line is an alert. And by the way, anytime you see a pink line on my chart, you'll probably, you'll know that that is a um, alert that I've been paying attention to that chart. So keep an eye on this. CLX um, bouncing through that resistance here. And what I like about this is that potential of that gap fill. Now we do have earnings coming up on 5-2. So there may be that opportunity that this could rally up there toward that earnings event. So watch that closely in Clorox. And I've got to say, guys, you might want to be paying attention to some of these defensive sector stocks because they are really showing quite a lot of strength. Take a look at KHC. KHC yesterday has, we pulled back the last couple of days, but look at that nice little hammer pattern that came in there yesterday as we responded back up. KHC has been holding in a nice upside trend. So let this finish out this little resting consolidation and see if there's some upside opportunity in some of these stocks. You can certainly take a look at stocks like Hershey also hammering out yesterday a little bottom running up in this upside trend. Watch for that opportunity that that could move through. Um, you might want to take a look at Mondelez. Now Mondelez um, is reporting today and it's been pressing against this resistance in the chart. Watch for that opportunity that that could push on through here on the day. Take a look at Coca-Cola past its earnings report um, had a little pop and drop on that earnings report. Um, but as you can see, holding in here nicely. Now, I do think this is pretty extended and may need a little bit more rest, but some of these 
food-related stocks staying very, very strong. And as you know, we've got these shortages starting to perk up all around the country. Um, I'm not saying Coke is in a shortage, but shortages in food all over the place. So it's uh, not such a big surprise that these food prices and uh, consumer staple type prices are holding up very, very strong. So keep an eye on those. Another place I think you, you really have to pay attention to is um, Take a look at ADM after its report today, that possibility that that could push right on back through to the upside. Nice little morning star pattern here. Unfortunately, we did break this little support, so I usually need to see that pop through proof to hold, and then I would be looking at those. You also want to take a look at stocks like Mosaic. Finally had a pullback in the chart, but trying to show some bullishness here um, yesterday and maybe following through to the upside. Stocks like uh, CF um, also doing that. So a lot of the agriculture um, type stocks. Take a look at Altria. Altria holding up very, very good here. Been moving up nicely um, in this chart. Little resting pullback in here. Maybe an opportunity to take advantage of that. You can see um, a similar type pattern here in Philip Morris. We're dealing with a little bit of price resistance. A little bit of resting pullback in here. Um, hammering yesterday, trying to move back up. So watch that carefully if we can resume that uptrend here in uh, Philip Morris. There may be some opportunities there. Um, you might want to keep a close eye on, um, we have some of the shippers um, that had a nice, whoops, can't get the symbol typed right here. Um, we had a nice little rebound yesterday in some of these shippers um, yesterday. FDX pushing up, nice little hammer, little follow through to the upside. We will have to keep in mind these are in terrible, ugly downtrends, but we're holding these support levels here, at least for now in the chart. So watch that carefully. If um, that has that opportunity to push on through and perk on up, maybe we can start to see some recovery in some of these stocks. And um, you might also want to keep an eye on UPS. And I believe UPS uh, will be reporting today or has reported today. And you can see a little pop and drop on that one coming in so far today. So with that, guys, there's a few um, to pay attention to. I got to tell you, there's a lot of stocks that bounced yesterday but are not in buy patterns um, in the chart. So be kind of careful. Don't chase, don't over trade this market. I know there's going to be a lot of emotion in this market and we can easily get caught up in the fear of missing out. And that fear of missing out creates an awful lot of damage um, often in traders' accounts. So be very, very careful and cautious as all of this drama of earnings unfolds. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. I want to wish you very great, good results in your trading. I want to wish you all of the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.